Hey guys, I'm Skyla and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be starting a series called Help Me, I'm Homeschooling. And we are going to go over the basic first steps of starting your homeschool. If you haven't already, be sure to go down and subscribe and like and click the bell so that you can get notifications when new videos go up. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what is the first thing to do when you're wanting to start a homeschool. And the first thing that you definitely have to do is look up your state's requirements. So I am in North Carolina and that is where my homeschool is. And so everything I'm gonna be talking about in these videos is based off of my state's requirements. Now I will tell you that North Carolina is a moderate regulation state. So a lot of states are very similar in their requirements, but you have to find out for your individual state what the requirements are. And the best place that you can go to is the HSLDA website. And they have so many resources for you. You can click on your state and they will tell you everything you need to know about what your state's requirements are. I am linking this below for you so that you can go and check that out. Now, with that being said, we're gonna go over what is the procedure for my state. So in North Carolina, you can go and apply for a notice of intent. It's very easy. I'm linking this below also. You just go to the Division of Non-Public Education website and you click File Notice of Intent and it's very, very basic from there. It walks you through the whole process. You're going to name your homeschool. You're going to put down yourself or your husband as the administrator. Whoever is going to be instructing the children has to have a high school diploma or a GED. So be sure that you do have one of those. Um, you're going to, like I said, you're going to name your homeschool and mine is just my last name. It's Gwen Homeschool and you can name it a creative name if you can come up with something, but I was apparently not feeling very creative that day. So that is what I used. And then you're going to put in your children's ages, whether they're male or female, and it's going to, um, ask you your address and your county and all those things. It's super basic. And actually I went on there today just to check how things were going on there. And they actually have a video there for you. It's an instructional video that kind of walks through, walks you through the process to kind of help you out. So it's really, really simple. When you go through this process of filing the notice of intent, you are letting the state know that you are intending to homeschool your children, which is one of your rights as a parent. And you need to be sure that before you do anything that you withdraw them from wherever they are enrolled at the time. If you are already enrolled in some sort of public education system, then you need to go and withdraw the kids from that first. So if you call the office at your school, they will be able to walk you through the step-by-step -step process to do this. If you have a child that is under the age of seven that has never been enrolled in school, they do not have to be enrolled in the homeschool until age seven. That is the age in North Carolina. It may be different according to different states, but in North Carolina, it is age seven. However, if your child has already been enrolled in pre-K or kindergarten and you take them out of that school, then even if they're just six or if they're just five, you have to enroll them in your homeschool because that could get you in trouble for truancy because it looks like they were in school and then you pulled them out and you did nothing. So I have been told, and I looked it up today to make sure that I'm accurate on this, you do need to enroll them. If you are starting fresh, if this is your very first year doing any kind of schooling with your child and they're five or six years old, they do not have to be enrolled until the year that they will be turning seven. My little girl will be turning seven as soon as school starts. So I did enroll her this year. However, she's already in second grade because she's been doing school for two years, but because she wasn't seven yet, I just didn't go through putting her on there or anything like that. So just be sure that you go on and put any, all the things about what kids you have and their ages and all that. And then the important thing to know is that once you have filed a notice of intent in North Carolina, you do not have to do it again. The only thing you have to do in the future is if you want to close your school, you have to log in and close out your homeschool. Or if you need to change any information like you move or you have a child that's coming up that's gonna be starting school, then you can go on there and log in and change your information. So they're gonna print you out or they're gonna email you and you can print it out 
one of these. This is a registration record. I'm not going to get it super close, but I am going to kind of go through this with you. It's got your school name. It's got your ID number. It's got your status, which would be open. It just has all your basic information. You may need to use this sometimes. Um, there are certain advantages that you can use, like certain organizations will have like homeschooling days. Like um, I believe Dollywood is one that does like a homeschool day. And so you could use this as your proof of homeschool. That's basically what it is. It's basically like a homeschooling license. So that is important to know that you have this basically as your proof. Now, after you file that notice of intent, you're basically done as far as registering. From there, it's all about getting your curriculum together and keeping your records together. And I will be going over that in some other videos. So stick around if you wanna see the rest of the videos in this series. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.